Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with yet another video on Flow 3D where we're going to learn how to make a very quick pleated dress. So without wasting a lot of time, we're going to take the rectangle tool, click and leave the click in the 2D pattern window. The width, uh, if the width of the waist is 24 for having something pleated, I'm going to take the fabric which is three times wider than the width where I want to attach the pleats to. So it's going to be 24 into 3, which makes it 72 inches. And the height, say I want the length of the skirt to be 28. Then I'm going to take the segment sewing tool and click, 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 stitch the side seams together. Take the edit pattern tool again right click on one of the segments of the skirt and offset as internal line so these lines are basically the lines where we want the pleats to fold i've kept the width as 0 0.5 inches and the number of offsets is going to be twice the width so 72 into 2 144 should be it okay so first thing to have your fabric pleated is adding the offsets, the lines for pleating. You can keep it at one inches as well. It really depends uh, how wide do you want the pleats to be. So I've kept it 0 0.5 and the number of offsets that I kept was twice the number of, twice the width of the fabric. And next, right click, extend to and add point to the pattern outline. Remember, these two steps are very important steps when you want to pleat any fabric or any pattern. So adding the internal line, and then extend trim and add point to the pattern outline. Next, I'll make a belt, which is going to be 24 inches wide and an inch. Uh, 24 inches wide one inch is going to be the length of the belt and let me move this down uh oh it's stuck okay then arrangement points tool from the 3d window avatar display option show arrangement points this is where i want the belt to be segments Stitch the size of the belt. Let's zoom it in so that you can see it clearly. So click and click. For sewing, you are going to take the pleat sewing tool here. Okay, first let's. Uh, I'm sorry, I skipped the pleat fold part. You're supposed to add pleat fold from this option here. Pleat fold. Click. Double click. Select the kind of pleats I want them to be accordion and okay. Then pleats sewing this to this with this to this. I, I think I couldn't make it till the entire thing. I'll take my edit sewing tool and I'll just move this to here. edit sewing tool to adjust the sewing and before you actually simulate you'll also have to arrange it in a see you will be able to simulate right away too but especially for pleating if you want it to be faster and smoother you can always fold it use the fold arrangement tool click on one of the internal lines and fold it around the body I am not using the arrangement point tool here because when you arrange it in a circle, since the width of the fabric is too much, it's going to rotate to like two rounds and then when you simulate it, it's going to be tedious. So this is how you can 
fold it before you simulate and press space bar. Okay, I really don't want it to be this low. So I'll press space bar again. And I'll take my basic circumference tool. I've already added the circumference. In case you do not know how to do it, I'll delete this for your edit measure tool. Delete it. So it's the basic circumference tool that you take and you make a circumference by clicking thrice. Click. Click. And click again. Then attach to measure tool. Click on the top of the belt. I want it to be here. Click on the measurement line. Before I press space bar, I'll just make sure both these patterns are arranged closer to where I want it to be and then space bar. Don't worry about this texture. It will be better once we reduce the particle distance. And you can also strengthen this if you want to. Okay, I want the top also to be pleated, so I'll just copy paste the same thing. Copy, paste here, right click, rotate, clockwise to, uh, I want it to be 180 degrees, so maybe clockwise I'll make it twice. Click, rotate, 90 degrees again. And reducing the length. You can also click drag and right click. I want the height to be 14 maybe. I'll reduce it further if required. I guess it should be 12 or something. Right click. I guess I can make it smaller. Now, once you adjust the height, you're going to add the swing line. So I'm going to take the free swing tool. We're going to stitch this to this. This to this. Make the layer 1, strengthen the pattern, layer 1 from the property editor, strengthen it uh, a little smaller. Just, maybe just a little, oh, it just reduces it too much. Okay, space bar. Space bar again. Now I'm going to unstrengthen this. Do not unstrengthen the top because it will fall. This, if you want it to be flared, unstrengthen will just do the thing. Space bar. Okay. 
and then reducing the particle distance. Okay, so uh, it's basically messing it up a bit because of the layer. So I'll just bring it back to zero. And reduce the particle distance for all these things. Control A. I'll keep the particle distance six or five for now then space but again This strengthening uh, changes the color of the garment. So probably you've put some other color. Once you render it, the color is going to be like the color of your original fabric. But if you want to see it in the 3D itself, you can strengthen it and see the complete look of the garment. But just make sure you stop simulation. Okay, stop simulation, unstrengthen, so you'll be able to see the entire look. I guess the simulation is almost done. I mean, we can see the pleats clearly. So I'll press spacebar to stop simulation. And I'm going to right click on this using the selector move tool. Right click on the draft and unstrengthen. Like outside, it's still simulating. Okay, so yeah, this is how you can very quickly make a pleated dress and you can also change the color of the fabric and the types. I guess this is going to look good in satin. Gold in satin, maybe. And yeah, this is how we add pleats to any fabric. Remember three key points when you're pleating things. First, you're supposed to set internal lines according to the... No, no, no. First, you're supposed to take the width of the fabric thrice. Okay, thrice the width where, wherever you want to put it to. And then adding the internal lines. And then extend trim and add point. Three, these three things, if you're doing them correctly, then you can add pleats full and pleats sewing too so see you in the next video please don't forget to comment whatever you want me to bring to you for the tutorials bye bye guys thank you for watching